in our lab, we engineer living cells like bacteria to do useful types of functions for people. So for example, to sense the chemical signals of disease uh, in your body and respond by producing uh, molecules that prevent the disease. And uh, the way that we do that is to actually build little circuits made of genes inside of these bacteria. And the circuits uh, are, are responsible for doing the computing. They actually allow the cells to uh, detect complicated signatures uh, of disease in your body and respond only at the right time and place and only deliver uh, the correct amount of, uh, of a drug. It's very difficult to build these circuits and we build small components of the circuits but it's very difficult to put them together and have them perform predictively like they do in electrical engineering. What we did here is develop a new method where we could actually use light, visible light, uh, as a signal uh, much like an electrical a device called a function generator where we can send um, time varying signals uh, that go up and down into these circuits at different speeds and then um, by measuring how the circuit responds to these light signals uh, we can actually uh, understand how the circuits behave uh, which allows us to, to use computer tools to, to build larger circuits in a more predictable way. We needed a device to shine light on, on our cells in a you know, precise manner and there wasn't really anything available on the market to do it. We, we decided that we would build our own hardware. The design has four LEDs underneath each culture tube uh, and they're all optically isolated from each other. And there's 64 tubes. Uh, so there's a total of 256 LEDs that are all being controlled. Uh, each one, each LED can be uh, controlled both in time and in intensity. There are uh, 4,096 different levels of intensity. Um, and the refresh rate on, on the apparatus is about 500 hertz. The way that we use the device is we take our cells uh, and we grow them up uh, and we split them across all 64 tubes. Uh, and then we run the experiment uh, and let the cells grow under our pre-programmed light condition. Uh, and uh, they, they'll grow for eight hours, then we remove them all uh, and we take them over to another instrument for measurement. So Rice is in a really special location. So we sit next to the world's largest medical center and uh, Rice is an engineering school and we've, we've got uh, multiple faculty now who are studying synthetic biology. We have a great opportunity uh, to build um, medically relevant technologies uh, out of living organisms and then work with the medical researchers uh, across the street to actually test those and push them through into clinical applications uh, very quickly. And so, um, for example, we're engineering bacteria that could diagnose disease signatures in your body much more accurately than current diagnostics can do and at much lower or much earlier in the progression of the disease. And we have collaborators in the medical center who we can literally walk across the street, hand them our engineered bacteria, and they can test it in, in mouse models and animal models very quickly and tell us if it works or fails. And then uh, right across the street back in our lab, we can quickly make a new design or fix our design and send it back to them. Uh, so RICE is very uniquely positioned to make a lot of uh, headway uh, in, in the medical applications of synthetic biology.